Yo, what up guys? We are watching Gary Lineker's greatest goals and possibly skills if he has any. Um, in terms of like skill moves, I'm not sure. Never watched him in my life. Uh, I only I literally know him as that gray-haired pundit. Um, so yeah, we're about to take a look. Let me know if you guys watched him in real life. Um, let me know. Let me know. Um, but yeah, guys, I've lit. I don't even know. Like, I literally have never. I don't know his play style or nothing. But I assume we are on a roll of English number nines, all right? So I assume he plays like a traditional English number nine. Maybe, probably. As always, guys, make sure you guys drop a like in this video, subscribe if you're new, and let me know who to watch next. Leave a comment, and I will try to get to every player. In the 80s, like, late 80s and 90s, honestly, England had a lot of decent strikers. Uh, recently, like I said, I've been on... A oh, role trying to watch all of their highlights, see who's the best. Alan Shearer is definitely the best one so far. Um, but there's a lot of other English strikers back then. So we are, you know, we're just trying to get through all of them, rank them, see if who is better than who. Um, so, yeah, let's see, let's see. This is somewhat of a short video as well. Look at those short shorts. Ooh, okay, very nice. Nice, nice. Great touch, great finish. Not bad, not bad. He definitely dribbles a bit more than the last guy we watched, who was uh, Teddy Sheringham. Um, but yeah, he definitely... Ooh, okay. I watched neither of them live, only highlights. I feel like I would take Gary Lineker over uh, sharing them, just based off their highlights. He just seemed more versatile than sharing them. Honestly, he might be more versatile than uh, Alan Sh Nice finish. And Obviously, when it comes to uh, World Cup goals, I do not care how they look right. 